Good day. Uh, today, we will discuss on the issue of BMI, a continuation from our previous discussion um, regarding our detox topic. BMI was for the longest time used to decipher if you are overweight or not. In other words, are you healthy or not? That was what BMI was used for. But like how we progress in life, how the dinosaurs evolve, so to speak. Medical field also has evolved and over time they realize that this uh, BMI is not uh, fully uh, accurate to measure body fat. Body mass index or BMI is to measure your height and weight to work out if you are healthy or not. Okay, that's all it takes. Um, it takes into account. It doesn't take any other parameters. It disregards your age, your sex, your race, body composition, medical history, and many more things. So, um, do you think if you're just measuring weight and height, how accurate can your reading be? Okay, the calculation of BMI is very simple. As per this diagram I'm showing you right now, To further illustrate this point, why this BMI is not very accurate, uh, just look at this uh, picture below. Okay, it is a sample uh, of a research done of people of the same height and almost the same weight. But as you can see uh, from the uh, picture I will show you shortly, the picture on the top is generally uh, people who are more fitter than the picture of the, the guys at the bottom. Okay, when you work out, when you work out, you exercise, your bone density, your mass, your muscles, all this will increase in uh, size and weight. And this adds weight to your frame. Due to this fact, uh, you cannot, uh, uh, this is one of the major factors of the uh, wrong readings of this uh, BMI. You cannot uh, take a person of the same uh, height, same weight and say, uh, okay, one is uh, more fat than the other. Then now probably you're asking, what would be the better way to calculate body fat to see if you're fit or not? The proposed, uh, this is the proposed better way, is uh, waist to hip ratio. Um, you can see from this diagram, example uh, of a waist to uh, hip ratio, on the left, it's a 0 0.7 uh, measurement as opposed to the right, a 0 0.9. Okay, uh, all this uh, calculation, uh, you can uh, get it online. There are uh, various websites. You just key in the data. It will calculate for you uh, automatically. Okay, all you need to know is this. If your waist is smaller than your hips, then you are in better shape and probably much more healthier than the opposite. Okay? It... it if you think about it, it makes sense. If your waist is bigger than your hips, that means when you look down, you're only seeing your belly. Okay, that is uh, generally where uh, men and women uh, have this uh, tendency of getting overweight. If your belly is big, then you know you're overweight. Okay, um, and this uh, uh, fat from the belly eventually will uh, transfer to your, to your thighs, to your arms that's where you get uh, saggy arms and all this you'll see is, uh, starts to droop and all that uh, not not because of aging uh, not because of your skin is coming uh, uh, loose or whatnot it's mainly due to the buildup of fat okay another way i mentioned uh, there's a few ways to uh, better ways to calculate fat another way is to calculate your visceral fat Okay, it's basically the same thing. Lah. I'm not going to go into great detail how you get this calculation all. 
uh, and don't read about it too much on this calculation methods and all that because you can go to various websites online and there's automatic calculation uh, uh, sorry automatic calculators you just uh, key in the data and it will calculate for you don't don't sweat about it so much <laughs> see what I did uh, I use a, a, a pun there don't uh, sweat it uh, too much okay this visceral fat calculation is a more comprehensive method of calculating body fat it takes into account gender age height weight your stomach circumferences and your thigh circumferences okay so uh, it is a much more accurate measurement uh, of uh, whether you're overweight or not so what is visceral fat okay it is fat fat that is stored within your abdominal cavity and can build up in your arteries over time it will build up it will start clogging your arteries and all that okay this is where it uh, become dangerous huh? okay this visceral fat once it clogs up your arteries it increases the risk of certain health condition such as uh, diabetes uh, and uh, you will have uh, uh, heart issues okay uh, this visceral fat is also um, uh, located near your uh, vital organs uh, this including your liver your stomach your intestines okay where it is more difficult for you to uh, have targeted exercise see when you go for your uh, long walks your breeze walks it's basically uh, going uh, exercising your legs if you do dumbbell exercise it's basically for your biceps you do pull up and all that it's for your shoulders your biceps your back but to target your abdominal, it's uh, not easy. That, that's why you see, uh, generally when you age, there's more uh, build up of fat, especially men, uh, in the abdominal area. So uh, you can uh, uh, find out online various exercise and all that and do at your own pace. Uh, gradually, uh, like there's a saying, you know, sikit sikit lama lama jadi bukit. Uh, in translation, is. Uh, you do a bit, eventually you it will pile up and become a mountain. Uh, I'm talking about your exercise. So, so you start start off small and all that. The important thing is start off. Okay, you start off and then gradually keep increasing and then slowly you'll see the, the improvements. Okay, I will give you a small illustration in this uh, diagram. You can see where is this uh, visceral fat. Okay, it's inside, uh, uh, covered by your abdominal muscles and all that. So, uh, it is more uh, difficult to target uh, exercise for that. So, that's what uh, the previous video I said. Uh, start by detoxing uh, because this detox eventually will uh, uh, start uh, burning off all these uh, fats and uh, you feel much more healthier your overall uh, health will improve your overall well-being will improve your mentality also will become uh, much more sharper okay so in conclusion uh, you are now you're asking uh, is this fat all uh, unhealthy uh? not really uh? it's healthy to have some body fat if not, you'll be like a, a walking stick. La. <laughs> so, it is good to have some uh, body fat. But not all fat is created equally. That you must have in mind. Okay, just remember this. The easy way to tell if you're fit or not is to see your overall uh, figure in the mirror. Okay, when you uh, do your facial, when you're grooming yourself, have a, a look at your overall figure. Uh, from there you can know whether you're overweight or not the mirror does not lie it is only your mind that is playing tricks on you or you falsely uh, uh, put thoughts in your mind to say otherwise okay so now now you're asking okay i already seen myself in the mirror so now what okay when you uh, see yourself in the mirror uh, you can basically have a clear figure. Uh, you stand sideways, uh, you look uh, forward, uh, uh, right, left, uh, see all different directions. From there, you can know whether you're lean and fit or 
uh, overweight or obese and all that, you decide for yourself. Okay, and take the necessary action. Don't don't wait until you uh, have health issues uh, where your doctor starts prescribing medication to that extent. Then only say, oh, I must do something about this. Bro, by then it might be a bit too late. So don't, like the saying goes, uh, sediakan payung sebelum hujan. That means you see it's going to rain, prepare an umbrella. Don't wait until it's going to rain, then say, oh, Allah, ma, I uh, have to bring things to my car, all the umbrella also inside my car. So that defeats the purpose. So have a look, daily have a look uh, in your uh, uh, grooming regimen. Uh, make small, small changes. Eventually, you'll see the impact. Okay? So based on that, you can already know whether you're fit or not and uh, you can start on your uh, detox uh, process, okay? Uh, the main reason to this, this detox uh, is basically to clean your body, okay? Uh, have a look at the previous video. It, it, it's uh, a very simple method how to detox. You don't need to have complicated methods and all that. Smart. Start small, start easy. Things that will uh, keep you grounded. Things that will make sure you follow. Okay, that's why we start easy. Okay, cheers. Sayonara. Have a great day.